You need huge muscles to cast that far. Welcome to another Carl and Alex fishing vlog. Today we'll be targeting barbel on a big river. I imagine you're really excited for today. First session on the Trent for about three years or something. What's the Trent, Carl? The River Trent. Oh. Only the best barbel fishing river possibly in the world. On this session, we were visiting Adam and Matt from the Guru fishing team. How are you? Good morning. Good, thank you. Just arrived at the River Trent with the boys and we're going to try and catch some barbel or chub today. Maybe something even bigger. That thick talk. That thick talk. <laughs> Don't tell them any. <laughs> we have chosen a couple of spots. They look good. This is the spot which we've gone for down here. Looks like a river. And then the boys are up there. Oh, he's got he's brought us some food. Breakfast. Breakfast. Or, as they call it up here, Greg's Fist. Because <laughs> you have to get it from Greg's. We've got steak bacon there. We've got sausage roll. Beautiful. Sausage roll. Thank you. Thank you. I think we fished this river, well I've fished this river twice before. We did that night together. Yeah, we had a meeting up north and we up stopped, north. stopped off at the river Trent and we set up next to a pub. <laughs> that night we caught a carp I think. It was really, really cold, but we managed to catch one. It was a really nice fish. But like that time we were carp fishing and then I returned to the Trent, um, a fish with a friend and that time I was barbel fishing. I seem to remember it was quite good. You caught loads, didn't you? Yeah, I had quite a few barbel, and I caught I caught a carp that time as well. Is today's trip going to live up to our previous? I don't know. I mean, experiences. It it seems unlikely. I'm just setting up a couple of rods. I think we're going to go with yeah, three ounce feeder. It's a big river, big powerful river, and I think I'm going to need a decent amount of weight to hold the bottom. So we're going to do one rod on a feeder which will be upstream, introducing bait, drawing them up, and then one rod just on a lead and a bigger bait, like a piece of pepper army or a big pellet. We'll chuck that further downstream. Hopefully that rod downstream just sits there, and a big old barbel comes along and uh, takes the bait. And then on the upstream rod, maybe we'll catch some chub, bream, I don't know. We'll see, won't we? Flipping it, they've got one already. Thanks. No, you're having a laugh, mate. You're having... I was like, what's he doing in the reeds then? <laughs> it's big, eh? It's coming up, look in the net. We didn't get one. What? We, we didn't get one. They just, they I just... was hiding in the hedge. Oh, you got us to run, didn't you? <laughs> oh, dear. That was his idea. <laughs> oh, why am I not surprised? Sorry, buddy. Do you like my hat, by the way? Yeah. Cool, isn't it? Uh, no. No one's gonna lose you. No. <laughs> oh, I'm worn out now. Yeah, same. Here come my helper. Do you wanna make some ground bait with me? No. Ground bait is pretty self-explanatory. It's bait that sits on the ground. But all you need to do is grab some in a bucket and then just add water. The ground bait we've got is quite a dark colour, strong fish meal flavour and barbel really like this it's what we've used like most of our fishing over the years is yeah a nice ground bit like this we'll chuck some pellets in it as well we'll put some pellets in as well as give the fish some actual items of food to pick up because we'll probably use a pellet on the hair i reckon it squeezes now into a ball but it breaks apart nicely as well so it'll go in the feeder it hits the water then it will spread out drift downstream and bring all those fish up to our bait that's the plan anyway Yeah. Fish on! I can't quite believe that, but I've I've got a fish on. This is the first fish I've ever had on my line from the River Trent. Sort of pulling hard, but sort of hasn't, hasn't given up though. It doesn't think it can't be a breed. Very slow, isn't it? Fish on! I you've got a bit of decent marble, boy. Come on, we've got to get him in. Oh. Happy days. 
Oh wait, you were right. Wait, you were, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I shit off to it. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> flipping out. I, I looked away for one moment, looked back, and it was in the net. Yeah, we got a bowl from the River Trent. That's my first ever fish from this river in my whole long life. Your whole long life? Yeah, so long. <laughs> <laughs> So old. Barbel number one. First fish of the day. And it's a small barbel for this river because they get over. How big do they get in here? There's rumours that they capture an odd 20 pounds. Oh god. <laughs> what? But in this stretch I've seen quite a few pictures like 16s. Whoa, so they get so much bigger. So we've got some work to do today. But it's a great start. Oh, you got one. Fish! It feels like a bream. Really? Because mm. I'm just reeling it in currently. Well, I did kind of think we'd get a few of these on the feeder. Bream love their ground bait. And if you're fishing a feeder full of ground bait and a pallet on the hair, you probably will catch the odd bream. Apparently the Trent's got lots of these. I would like to get a barbel though. A bubble would be a lot nicer than that, but it might take me a bit of time to get through to them. You got a fish? Alright, pause. Pause the music. This is another brain. Come on in, Bobby! <laughs> Just had a shout from the boys. What have you got, Adam? It's a roach, mate. <laughs> I think we got a barbel. What have we come for? It's fighting well, to be fair. Well, oh, hey, nice job. Thank you. Woo, look how tense he is. He's still ready for battle. I'm going to give myself five pounds for that one. Very cool. Look at that, yeah. Isn't they cool fish? We're off the mark. One each for me and you. Well, oh, hey. <laughs> Try and get a big one up. Yeah. Paying off a bit of a, a bow in the line helps the weight hold the bottom. If you try and put the feeder out and pull the line tight, like that tension on the line just makes the feeder bounce down the river. And you end up having to use a really heavy weight to hold the bottom. But um, if you let some line out so the line goes round in an arc, just for some reason, physics means that the feeder stays in place and doesn't bounce through. Okay, you can stop that now, please, Zach. Yeah. The rod has gone round. This time, a stronger, firmer weight on the end. Big difference between bream and barbel. Bream, you hook them and they're like, reel me in, just reel me in. Barbel are like, Bleh. and they proper pull the rod round. What was that called? <laughs> I got a feeling that like just on dark we're gonna have a double figure barbell between us. I'd be great if I can land this. Then we will have had a barbell each. Wait, two fish already. Oh it's beautiful. Oh wow, it's so long. Whoa, that's solid that is. Like it's full of muscle. That is a lovely barbell this one. I think for the first time in my life I am actually catching bigger fish than Alex. It's bigger than your one, is it? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> it's such a long cast. You need huge muscles to cast that far. 
Oh, look at that. Great uh, filmmaking skills here. Trifle in the <laughs> background. We're very professional here. So, today is not about that. Today is just tutorials about, you know. channel will consist of the most professional videos on the internet. Well, Alex and I were just talking about how it's really important to have a partnership. As in, it's not, not, no, we weren't talking about that. We were just saying it's good that between me and Alex, we both have different skills and talents and like one one of us I'm I'm not very good at fishing, evidently. But no, um oh, my Jeez, hook link Carl, my, the what hook are link, you doing? The hook link is too long. See the hook the hook link on this setup is let me just check, because my wingspan, if I was a bird, I guess would be about six foot, because apparently your arms, if you put them out that way, is the same as your height. Yeah, I heard that somewhere. Right. Yeah. Da Vinci drew a picture of a man like that, with no clothes on, in a circle. I know, studied it at school. Did you? Yeah. Anyway, long hook link makes it quite difficult to cast, uh, and it's a bit, ha it's like hassle to deal with it, but the long hook link does help, because this, lead is sitting on the bottom upstream you cast it in it sits on the bottom this line that goes back to your rod because of the flow and because you want to see bites has to be tight so a tight line going through the swim if a fish is swimming along going like about its way and it touches that line it's going to be like whoa 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 that's not right i don't like that so they get scared so having the long hook link means at least your bait isn't sitting up there next to the tight line the hair is reasonably long because chub will often be like nipping at the hook bait and if you can avoid the chub then you kind of just give yourself more chance of a barbel picking up the bait. Brandon what's your job again a Guru? Tea boy. Well at least you're good at it. <laughs> Get in there. We're on the tees <laughs> waiting patiently. Matt's not taking it seriously he's doing his work on a laptop <laughs> when we're trying to fish. You know the fishing's slow when you are catching up on work emails. Oh yes. <laughs> Emailing the fish. <laughs> Eat my hook bait, <laughs> you big fat barbell scent. <laughs> Crumbs still kicking off down here. Alex is playing one. Why did all you guys run down? It was a bream. Oh, we love bream. <laughs> okay. Sure, it's a bream. No, I'm joking. It's, it's a massive one, I think. <laughs> is it a big head? I don't know. Is it a marble? It, it felt big from the start. Let me listen. Let me listen. What's the barbel? What's coming barbel. down the line, yeah? It's a barbel, yeah. Coming down the line. Hmm. I think it's a female because it swam all the way. <laughs> <laughs> when it saw you. <laughs> What's your biggest barbel, Alex? Ten pound, four ounce. Oh! You want them, Bobby? Oh, she's alive! Whoa! <laughs> That's a bream. We are going to be in the Guinness Book of World Records or whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool swim, this one, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> this is where the 17 pound bar will live. I'm getting oh, scared now. I love fishing. Got a nice barbel. Oh wow, that's the biggest barbel I've had this year. Definitely. That's the cracker. That's the only barbel you've had this year. Shut up, Carl. <laughs> That'll do. Wow, this is what we were aiming for today. Slightly bigger one. That is a proper river trend barbel. And it's not even evening time. Like evening, you think when it's just getting dark would be the best time. Yeah, but uh, we're catching in the middle of the day. What a fish. Usually we feed quite heavy with a feeder, sort of pre-baiting area and sit on it and hope for a few bites but at the moment it seems to be attracting a lot of bream and smaller fish. So we're literally fishing attractive single hook baits, big dumbbell boilies, sort of 12, 14 mil. Um, and we're either fishing it with a lead with a little bit of paste in it or a little bit of ground bait or literally just a single bait. Uh, long hook length, not fishing light either, 10 pound drag line, main line. Uh, to a 030 fluorocarbon hook length to a size 10 hook and literally just giving it an hour in the areas we think the fish may be.
Wonder how the guys up there are doing. Maybe we should go up and see. It's nice fishing with other anglers because it means you've got other people to talk to and other people to, you know, enjoy the beautiful scenery with. Hello. Hello. Adam, is yeah. that your Tesla over there? That's my Tesla. That's really cool. <laughs> Do you want to go in it? Yeah. No, that is not the key to yeah. the, the car. I always lose them. <laughs> They're not good for fishermen. Right, here goes the spaceship is revealed. Oh no, I'm, uh, I'm controlling this car from these keys, this is amazing. Oh no, <laughs> I'm open the front. <laughs> this is like Transformers. We're moving. I'm driving a Tesla. I don't know why this is such a moment. Here we go, in the big T. There's Carl down there. Do you want to see the engine? Oh yeah. It's well impressive, have a look. There it is. So there's some screen wash. <laughs> wow, there's nothing in here. There's nothing. Brilliant. I think they'll make better ones in the future, but yeah, it's really good. Do you reckon they'll one day make Teslas that fly? As the day went on, the fishing got pretty hectic. Loads of bites from Bream and Barbel. We persevered though, knowing that the next bite could be absolutely huge. Oh, another Barbel. Turning out to be a pretty awesome day. No, no, no. Ah, God. As usual, Carl and I have been taking the bites in turns. We try and keep it fair, you know, so we both get in on the action. It's already been a superb day of barbel fishing. We've caught quite a few and also had some bream as well. So we could go home very happy anglers now. However, there are barbel in this river which are massive, 15, maybe even 20 pounds. So we're gonna stick it out till the very end, last light, because you just never know when that big one is gonna bite. <laughs> but still no double figure barbel on these rods. I'm gonna sit here, stress eat chocolate and hope. Oh look at that. If I can't catch a big fat barbel, I'll just become a big fat human. With the light levels fading, we thought a bite was due. The evening was definitely the best time for fishing. The lads up the bank also getting action just into dark. Gotta be worth the bite, that, ain't it? Look at it. Stunning. Look at the size it gob on that. Almost as big as yours. Great bite, Mr. Chubb. Oh, oh no! Oh, I just filled my welly up with water. <laughs> what a beauty! We have had an amazing day's barbel fishing today. First time on the Trent in absolutely ages, and it didn't disappoint. Oh, 